Hello there everyone, I'm Brad Barton and welcome to 1.21 Gigawatts, an extremely low-tech look at the 1.21 most interesting stories in geek pop culture today, roughly two weeks after Godzilla director Gareth Edwards was announced as the director of the first Star Wars spin-off film, we now know who will direct the next Star Wars spin-off film. Josh Trank, the director of Chronicle and the upcoming Fantastic Four reboot, is joining the swiftly growing Star Wars family. There's no word yet on who his film or what his film will focus on exactly, but the hive mind of the internet is speculating that it might be a young Han Solo film? Maybe? Who knows if that's true? No one really knows officially. In the meantime, multiple websites have taken the opportunity to dust off and repost Trank's first stab at a Star Wars flick, the 85 second long Stabbing at Leia's video, which you can see on YouTube. He made it for $80 back in 2007 before he was a big shot filmmaker. Uh, it has some not suitable for work language in it, but it is a great mix of Star Wars and Chronicle, absolutely reinforces Trank's talent, and makes me very excited for the spin off film even if that spin-off film were to feature this guy. All right, that's, that's enough of that, isn't it? Also in the category of 80s franchises live again, it's time to dust off the particle accelerators because Ghostbusters is returning to theaters. For its 30th anniversary, and to help promote a new Blu-ray uh, release of the film, Ghostbusters will re receive a limited theatrical run at the end of August. A new Ghostbusters.com site has already launched to kick off the anniversary, so hurry on over there and buy your Ghostbusters t-shirt and your Stay Puft Marshmallow Man plush and your Ghostbusters cufflinks. You heard me. Cufflinks. In Ghostbusters, the most notable specter that the boys captured was Slimer, an ugly little spud who helped wreck a hotel ballroom and ate everything that he could get his ghostly green hands on. For today's trivia question, I want you to tell me which Saturday Night Live alum inspired the character of Slimer. If you know the correct response, you can leave it in the comment section attached to this video. The answer to Wednesday's question was Dormammu. And the first person who knew the correct response was Paul Romero of New York, New York. Congratulations again, as always, Paul. You've done it again. You're amazing. For uh, today's uh, win, you, you win a choral sheet music arrangement of Battle Hymn of the Republic. Okay, so I expect you to learn all the parts and to record one of those YouTube videos where, like, you're in every quadrant singing all the different parts of the song. Right? That'd be pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching, everyone. I always appreciate the chance to nerd out with you. If you enjoyed this bite-sized chunk of Geekitude, please do share it with a nerdy friend and help spread the word. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I would always appreciate that. And you can always reach out to me and say hello, or give me story suggestions, or uh, just say, don't sing again on the podcast, on the vlog, Brad. That's, that's bad form. Um, I welcome any and all comments, and you can do so, again, in the comments section attached to this video or over on Twitter, where I am at BradBarton72. Otherwise, that's all for this week, my friends. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.